Hello everybody, my name is Prince Nelson and I have been summoned to The Deep with Bella Niger. You've been outside the house, you've been in the house. Which housemate do you think you make top five? Um, hmm. Alex Ilibaye, Mercy, Soma, Angel, CC is, for me, it's more or less like a top six for now. So probably someone missteps and falls off. Do you have anything you miss about the house? What is it? Oh. Um, I definitely miss my friends in the house, and I miss the I miss the vibe in the house. To be honest, as chaotic as it might be, the house is fun. If you as I think maybe it was more fun for me because of the fact that I was a house guest. I was not competing for anything. I was just there to enjoy myself. So I was a lot more relaxed than I was the first time. So yeah, I definitely do the house but yeah i miss my friends i hope they round up very soon and come out and let's face the real world together what was the highlights of your stay in the big brother all-stars house ah. um i had a couple of highlights first of all was day one as the door opened and I walked in, it was like everybody went crazy. I was, I think I was that housemate that a lot of the housemates wanted to see, but believed that I was never going to show up because of I had told them that I was not coming. So that first day was a highlight for me. Another highlight was the day I found the immunity card and it was transferred to Alex and winning the pepsi tax because i lost it the last time i came second the last time and it hurt badly so i think those were my three major highlights tell us about your friendship with alex you had you said one of the reasons you came on the show was to provide support for her So uh, my friendship with Alex actually goes way back before I even went on the show the first time. I've known her before I, before lockdown edition. Um, so she, and since then she has been an amazing friend to me. Um, she has supported me even while I was on the show the first time came out, helped me a lot of the content that I shoot. She directs them, writes them for me. She relates to a lot of things that I go through while navigating, you know, um, life as a celebrity. You know, we understand each other's struggles and, you know, we go through it. She's one of the few people that can drag me out of my house because I'm a bed body. I want to be in my house 24 seven. So, um, prior to coming on the show or before the show happened, you know, we were among one of the people I was amongst the housemates that were reached out to as an original housemate and I declined because I didn't want to go. Um, and she was really sad about it. So she made me promise that if at any time um, Big Brother ever reaches out to me again while they're still in the house, that I should make sure that I take the opportunity. So when the call came again and it was convenient because at the time i had space on work so i was like okay i'll go fulfill my promise and also use the opportunity to promote the work that i was doing so it was a more or less like a win-win for me and i saw that she was going through a lot and needed all the support and love that she could get so i was happy i did did you expect your last your eviction last Sunday, if yes, why? If no, why do you think you were evicted? Um, so yes, I expected my eviction because the contract that I signed with Big Brother before going into the house was for two weeks to be in the house. And I'm coming out, I was shocked that people were not told about it, but we, we were told that we were going to be called house guests. We were only there for two weeks. So I expected that oh, the viewers would be made aware of that, you know, but, um, 
yeah, I knew that I was going to be evicted on that Sunday because, okay, the contract also said that we there was an option for it to be extended. So I think that's why Omashala and um, Kim are still in the house. Theirs got extended. I declined. I didn't want an extension. So by Friday, I think Big Brother has already called me to the diary room to tell me, oh, you do know that you're leaving on Sunday, right? So I started to pack small, small so that I wouldn't raise suspicion from the housemates. So I definitely was expecting. I just what I just didn't know how it was going to happen because I know I'm not up for eviction. So how is Big Brother going to remove me from the house without, you know, how are we going to explain it to the housemates? So I think it was the mode of the eviction that, you know, um, made me if kind of sad because at the time when Biggie called me to start packing, Alex was literally there watching, crying and asking me what is it and I can't say what it was. So, yeah. Tell us how you're feeling right now. Hmm. Um, I feel good. Uh, I feel blessed. You know, I'm happy I went for I went for the show. I feel like I succeeded in, you know, selling the brand that I wanted to sell. Um, helping out a friend, making new friends on the show as well, because I got to meet other people who I had not necessarily had encounters with before and people who I didn't expect that I would be friends with in the house. CC. So um, yeah, I definitely enjoy myself. So I'm feeling very happy being out in the real world and you know, jumping back into business like I never left, and being optimistic about all the great things I'm about to do. So I feel good. And one thing I'm very grateful for is the fact that I came out, you know, spoke to my parents, spoke to my family, and they were like, "Oh, we're proud of you and how you conducted yourself in the house." And that's what matters most to me every time I go into the house. You said you're launching your record label going into movie production soon. What inspired the move into music and movies? So movies, um, right from childhood, I've always wanted to act. It's a childhood passion. I was in all the school plays. And um, I have been acting since I came out from the house the first time. But going into movie production is because there, I'm very passionate about you know movies. I watch a lot of movies, and I believe that there's a there's a type of movie that there are types of movies that I I want us as Africans in Hollywood to do, and I have not. I believe that I've not seen it enough. So I want to be able to make those movies, and that's what pushed me to go into movie production. And the record label, I've always loved music. I'm a music head. I think that's why I was able to win the um, the Pepsi tax because the way it was fashioned this year, you have to know music well. Uh, but I don't know how to sing. I can't make music. But I have a younger brother who is amazing at music. And I was like, okay, I would achieve my dreams through you. And yeah, that pushed me into going into, you know, opening a record label and we've been working on some amazing songs and we're ready to come out so by next month you guys are going to be seeing us and we're going to be blowing your minds and I also have a surprise artist who is already in the industry and it's under our record label as well so that one you guys will find out later when we're ready as well so yeah that's what inspired me to go into those things and the dream eventually is to have you know, one of the biggest production houses in Africa. Why can't I be the next Studio Universal or something? You know. Uh, that's finished. All right, thank you guys very much for being with me on the deep. Don't forget to keep watching Better Niger Online. Stay tuned. Peace out.